Welcome to Episode 6 of the Virtual Fly Guides Podcast. This is Darren Wallentine of the Virtual Fly Guides and www.flyguides.net. I know it's been a while since our last episode, but I can chalk it up to a very busy summer. And unfortunately, it isn't fly fishing that kept me busy. I wasn't able to get out until a couple weeks ago, but when I did, it was a nice change of pace to the stress of my other job. So I headed up to the White Mountains in East Central Arizona to fly fish the White Mountain Apache Reservation. I was invited to spend a few days at my buddy Ed's house in Sholo. When it comes to fly fishing in Arizona, there aren't many angling opportunities. But in the White Mountain area, the opportunity to land an Apache trout on a fly is always a thrill. So on day one, we headed to the North Fork of the White River and to a spot where I've had success in the past. Unfortunately, the only highlight was that my buddy Ed landed a clean 16-inch brown trout near the bridge at the Holly Lake turnoff. We used a dry tropper setup, and even this late in the year, the water level was higher than I remember, especially for September. After lunch, we headed upriver to an area called Ditch Camp. We finished the day scoring 10 to 15 browns and Apaches apiece, casting to undercut banks and deeper slots. Most of the fish took the dropper, a size 18 pheasant tail emerger. On day two, our plans were to purchase permits to fly fish Christmas Tree Lake. Christmas Tree Lake is a fly fishing only lake and enforces all the special regulations. It's located off of Highway 473, southeast of Sholo. Unfortunately, at the last minute, we found out that the area around the lake was closed due to a guided elk hunt. So, our backup plan was to fly fish a nearby spot called Earl Park Lake. We got out on the water by 7 a.m. and began kicking around the lake in our float tubes alternating casting dry flies, and then stripping woolly buggers. Ultimately, the only fish we brought to net were caught relatively deep with sinking lines. The average fish was around 15 inches, and they all were rainbows. They were all very healthy, bright, and strong, making long runs, and they definitely were net shy. So on our last day, we headed back to the North Fork of the White and fished up from the bridge where we had fished on day one. It's a beautiful stretch of river, and had numerous spots that should have held fish. The only action was spooking a herd of cows, and we had a lot of practice casting. So with only half of the day of fishing before I had to head home, we drove to the upper log road and fished the pocket water above the bridge nearest Highway 473. It was tight quarters and had a number of deep pools, each one holding at least one or two active trout. We landed browns, apaches, and Ed brought a 14-inch rainbow to net, an unlikely surprise in such a narrow spot. Well, that's all we have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the Virtual Fly Guides podcast, and remember to visit us at www.flyguides.net to post your photos, videos, and reports. We'll see you on the water.